turn to pick. Yeah, Last night, of course, we were walking from the front. I mean, Pangolier just changes the game. It does for sure. Completely. It's like one Cannot of the It's like having a techie. Yeah, not coming out yet, obviously. Get a salve or something before Limpil send it out. Uh, he doesn't have a queued up or anything. They have no fortunes then skilled yet, but he might use it in a moment. Just trying to harass Limp and get some extra room for resolution. But of course, this means that there's going to be better room for complexity to Chessy and of course in the top lane as well. Yeah, no, just pretty decent. A lot of us uh, pretty far here. You're going to get punched. For a good sign. Nature's guys hit. There's the fortunes in. Is it enough damage? The spirit siphon. Limp's going to get dropped and killed. Jarek secures first blood already. Oh, oh they're gonna X. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't know Kyle had X. He's level 2 now. Balanced. Right back, full HP. Boom. And Moo continues to get jumped on in the top lane. He's gonna swashbuckle himself away. Doesn't hit the target. And they get the kill. The boundless strike comes out from the Monkey King doing more than enough damage. And looks like Moo did not do the math there. Did not do the math indeed. Frostbite down bottom, S4 gonna get caught, Chaos Bolt, they have the Reality Ruff ready, they're gonna use it, and that was beautifully done from Chessie to pull him back as far as he possibly could have with the Reality Ruff. Jarek's up top, snipe Moo. That was, he, Moo stayed for a bit, and I think Jarek's thought, okay, I can get this. Now in the lane resolution, he's in trouble, no Spirit Siphons, means it's gonna be tough. The Torrent just going to miss the Nether Blast, one more auto attack, good stick Thick. charge, one more auto attack is needed at least, Seafreak is so close, he's going to find it. Not in trees deep enough was resolution, and now Jax is gonna get caught in. He's penned. Now he will get the nature's guys up. They need another meta blast, and Limp does not much more than that. And Moo is getting harassed pretty hard. He's trying to build into Soul Ring. No Tail's gonna go for the dive. He's got the boundless strike ready. There's the jump in from Moo trying to get away. He'll use the shield crash, but one more boundless strike plus an auto attack should get the kill. They can't quite get to the shrine. So close to the shrine. Dive. Warren will head on to Jerax. He does have no living armor. Leech, he's on cooldown for 10. Nature's guys is back up in one second. He's just going to sit next to these two trees and be completely fine. In fact, they're going to turn on to Kyle. Nature's guys hit will use that root. Now Kyle on the run. No tail. Boundless strike is down for another few seconds in order to give the mana to use it. Torrent will keep himself safe. But oh gee. But Chessy's having a great time. Going to get harder though. S4 has a bottle. Reach. It's almost level 6 as well. Wait, if he's safe while well, Chessy pretty safe, but maybe not. Look at this. Down bottom. And we're talking the Phantasm. One second stun. S4 in trouble trying to run. Battery Assault will go. He's going to bottle up. Don't think he can turn on this. He'll take the Illusion down at the very least. One more auto attack away. He's so close, Chessy. He's got the Chaos Bolt. That will secure the kill. Even a one second stun will do the job. Might take a bit longer. Who might die again? No, no tails just farming. He actually has no mana. Close by. They might try to go on to No Tail. This might have been an air. No Tail is in some serious trouble. Cannot get into the trees. There's the shield crash, the spirit siphon, and No Tail will give the kill to when there was actually the most spring comes out from No Tail to get up into the tree. Dance rather. Now a lot of heroes are coming in. Fly invading, so too is Jarax. There's gonna be a jump in, no tail looking for Moo. Can't quite find a boundless strike. Getting lower and lower, and Moo's living a dangerous life. Loving is rolling thunder. Great hook shot. They're gonna get Moo potentially. Shield crash keeping him alive to the cogs. And the purifying flames will secure the kill. And that'll do it. Fly will secure it. And now they'll start putting now. Z Freak is trying to deny this tower, but he's a CM with 55 damage. He's probably gonna die for it. I think so. Almost yeah. actually didn't get the deny. They had one auto attack from Fly. Yeah, he's definitely dead. He's got a freezing field, but it gets canceled by battery results immediately. I like where your head's at, Z Freak. It's a good attempt. Blast them. And then it becomes really hard for OG to walk into that. And it's a good thing to have the Puna too, because the living armor is starting to come into play and they'll need to heal up this turn with Darren Bitlane. Meanwhile, Ghost Ship S4 uh, has found Vanguard. Vanguard. It's interesting. I, 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 I like it. I like the fact that he can scale and he can be tanky and stuff brings down. Z Freak is dead again. They're diving the tier 2 tower. TP will be a little bit too late and, in fact, all the time. RNG. Yep. I guess Ogre as well. Not as much. Moo survives in the top lane, only to fall in the mid lane to the Spirit Siphon. And the Living Armor to take this building down. Living Armor continues to go from Jerax. Overgrowth is on cooldown, he used it in the bottom lane, but he's gonna make this guy hit Chessie. Hookshot coming in. Done on to two from the Boundless Strike, getting out his limp. And to the Wukong's command, it's time to lead if you are Complexity. They use the Phantasm, good Ghost Ship coming out, there's going to be... 
Could be the life current. S4 is gonna get caught and killed. Jesse goes back in to both the Exorcism and the Wukong. To man, Jesse finds a regen room, which keeps him alive. Can he toggle? He cannot. Resolution chases him down. And Kyle might be next as well. Good X marks coming in to save his own life. It's a one-for-one -one trade. Chessy perhaps getting too aggressive, going back into that engagement, right back into the Wukong's command. Angleir, Mu jumping in, shield crash coming out, fly getting low to the Crystal Nova. There's the Fortune's end as well. Mu getting dope underneath the tier two tower. They have the Exorcism still going, but it's about to end. Mu earned up, taking down. He might survive. It's close. He's sitting at 28 HP, oh, and no. it's the Earth Swarm Sniper. I'm not sure how many Ancients they actually got out of this, but they at least got one or two out of them. Yep. Go. Warren comes in, reality rip. False promise not available. Boundless strike, Wukong's command, no tail cancels it. There are also things that can go wrong, right? Or Where's the dust? There it is. They found your axe. Evil overgrowth. I don't think he's surviving. They know where he is. They're gonna try to take him down. It is nighttime and makes it a little bit harder than maybe it should be, but Limp will still secure a kill. Maybe not the target. Love me some meteor hammer. I, I wanna see it work. I really do. I remember we were getting so hyped, we were like theory crafting it and the first time it came out at like Dota Pin just talking about what about void meeting hammer. I'm sure it would be amazing. <laughs> no. He's gonna use it. He's gonna get caught. There's the stun coming out with the boundless strike. Oh, okay, he I don't think that was the meteor hammer. I'm pretty sure he's just dead anyway. Mott, that kill wasn't possible without the Yeah, you're right. And they find a hook shot onto Moore. Z Freak's a little bit too far up. He's gonna force himself out. He actually has a fourth that would see him somehow. There's the promise spring, however, and Z Freak is still dead one way or the other. A double kill for no That's kill. Scott now, they will have found the backline fly, but resolution has popped the exorcism. Not only that, but he has his BKB at the ready. Jerax is TPing in and Chessy is caught between a rock and a hard place. They have the nature's guys hit resolution. He's gonna pop the BKB. And Chessy cannot do anything. Just getting run at Spirit Siphon and Exorcism doing too much damage. It's going to be three dead for complexity. They did lose no tail, but that's just the ages on the back lines. He will jump further looking for Kyle. He's gonna X marks, but no tail is going to work. One more auto attack will do the job. A killing spree for no tail. After just securing a double, he gets a third, and that will be a big fight win. Yeah. They didn't have Aegis on Monkey Kings. But at the same time, Bomb is just sitting. HP, fully unchecked. Uh-oh, Moose hookshotted, dead again. S4, we haven't talked about him that much, but he's making the plays with these hookshots in this game. Global Elite and CSGO, not easy at all. When does their team, when does it turn on and you, you know, come online? Ever. Theoretically, when you have something like this happen, when Chessy gets in and finds himself a stun at four seconds, then they find a kill. They need, like, it's the pickoff, maybe? Hello? Dyer's bottom Hello? tower is under attack. Hookshot elsewhere. They found Chessy. This is a more important kill. Forget about Kyle. Big kill, yeah. He's just dead. Jeeva's guard, Nature's guy, or rather, Nature's guy's hit. S4 battery is looking rough at the point with Wukong's command about to come out to zone him. Five seconds, no yeah, exorcism. S4, I think, just forced Limp forward and then Limp forced the subway. That would be good. And I'll take the racks. That's that. Can they do? I don't know. He's going like the opposite direction. Where's Not sure where they are. Do it with flare. flare again. Oh, they're in. Wukong's command move in trouble. He does the one thunder off. He's going to jump into the high ground. Good ghost ship coming in so far. They've gotten fly out of this. Move will get low and he'll get dropped down. Chess is in the back lines looking for Jerax. Trying to get this kill, he finds himself a double now. No tail coming in. They want this kill. Chessy's in some trouble though. Silent stuff and resolutions man finding him. No tail is just pushing them all back. A double kill for Rezo. Looking for more. Kyle will be next. S4 gets himself a double kill. Four dead. It's gonna be all five. And that will be gross. He's down the supports instead. And yeah, you get both of the supports, but S4 is in the meantime on the back lines with the hook shot. I mean, there's just not much they can do. Even with a good ghost ship, even with all that abilities, man, even with a good new rolling thunder, it's not gonna be enough. And they will take down not only this Rax mid, but they're going to head to the top Rax. And they're even going to try to get Megas. Exorcism is back up, ready to go. And they will pop it here. And this is looking to be Megas. And potentially GG if you're complexity. They pretty much got one last fight of them here. See if they can get something going. Now that OG is also on route with all five of their heroes. In fact, they're pretty much at the well. Resolution is close to the fountain, but... Fountain camp. Yeah. He's going to get forced away. We have uh, the, the Rolling Thunder. I hear it going, but it's not actually going to... Now will be move on the other side, getting hookshot, and he's gonna get caught, potentially killed. Swatch Buck is coming out, taking a lot of damage. Chessy's just dead though. Can't find the monkeys. S4 pops the blade now, and then no tail. Oh my so God. low. He has Aegis, even if he dies, it's not a big deal. 
No Chessy for 69 seconds. Moo's gonna be next. He will try to swashbuckle and get forced away. Double kill for resolution. Kyle and Limp getting chased down, and that is it. GG is called, and OG will be your top seed from group hit point. Wow, both back? Top seed in group hit point? They look pretty dominant in both of the games they played today. But I don't want to brag, but group hit point, it's the real deal. It's the real deal. Yeah, yeah. Only the best.